that much. Now I kind of like the director Neil Marshall. He's responsible for one of my favorite horror films, The Descent, and Doomsday is a fun, guilty, pleasure-ish kind of movie for me too. No matter the quality of his films, I always get the impression that he had fun making them. And the same thing rings true for this film, although not really the whole movie. This kind of reminds me of Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance in a way. You take some fun directors who want to do their own thing, but it turns out that the movie they're working on is a previously existing intellectual property that the studio will obviously want to have some level of control over. So the film winds up having some really cool things in it that remind you why you like those directors, but unfortunately it's pretty broken at its core. There are definitely scenes and moments that I enjoyed in this film. I enjoyed that it was R-rated and there was plenty of cheesy fun gore. Some of the action was well executed. There were points in the film where I enjoyed its tone. But unfortunately the elements that this film fails hardest at are the most important ones. The story fucking sucks. The characters are garbage. There was nobody to latch on to the entire film. In Guillermo del Toro's version with Hellboy being played by Ron Perlman, the character was written in a way where he was at least somewhat lovable, but the Hellboy in this movie just plain sucks. There is nothing to like about him at all. After watching the entire movie, I'm not sure I really know anything about him. In Guillermo del Toro's version, there were also some interesting sidekicks to help balance things out, but in this film, they're just so uninteresting. By the time they showed up in the film, I assumed that they were just randies that we wouldn't really see much of. But as it got closer to the end, I realized, oh, they're supposed to be his sidekick characters, I guess. It also did not help that those two were the worst actors in the entire movie. None of the characters are fun to watch at all, and it's pretty difficult for me to enjoy a movie when that's the case. A lot of people are complaining that the computer animation was terrible, but I think it was more hit or miss. And to anybody who thinks I'm not allowed to say hit or miss anymore because of some stupid TikTok meme, you can go fuck yourselves because I don't watch that shit. Anyway, there were some scenes where the quality of the animation made it apparent that this had a fairly sizable budget, but then whenever we see a helicopter in the movie, it looks like it's from a fucking PS2 game, which is so bizarre because I could have sworn we perfected computer animated helicopters like 20 years ago. Why do the helicopters in this movie look so bad? I also didn't really enjoy Hellboy's design. They make a point to mention that he files his horns, but his horns don't look filed at all. Just looks like he rips them off every so often. The tail also looked awful. In Guillermo del Toro's version, they animated his tail so that it was moving around and added to his character. But in this movie, it's literally just a piece of rubber that they stuck to his butt. They didn't really do anything with it. It's kind of just dangling from his ass for most of the movie. I didn't really like the design of his face. It made it seem like they were just trying to make him look more badass or something. All of these easily could have been forgivable if he actually had a character, but he didn't, and it sucks. There are points in this film where they tried to make his character funny, and it was just so embarrassing. The points in this film where they tried to make jokes were probably the worst parts of the whole movie for me. There were points where I did laugh and enjoy myself, but that was more or less out of the absurdity of the gore and the action, and those parts did seem somewhat intentional, so that's good, I guess, but the quote-unquote jokes in this film were just just so, so terrible. Speaking of terrible, I should mention the sound editing. There are several points where you can hear audio looping in ways that do not seem intentional. It's not all that often I'll see a movie where the sound editing is so terrible it's distracting, but it happened. And on top of all that, nothing makes any sense. It's the kind of movie where you'll have thoughts in your head like, why didn't you just do this? Or how exactly does that work? Anyway, like I said, this movie was pretty broken at its core. I know a lot of people are expecting some kind of fant stick or Suicide Squad, but it's honestly much better than those two films. There are parts where I wished the film would move along to the next scene, but for the most part I wasn't really bored. If you're looking to have fun watching something kind of ironically, then this movie is not really a bad pick. It's a movie that maybe could have worked if it featured different main characters, and also if it had a better story. They really screwed up hard in the places that were most crucial to get right, but at the end of the day I don't regret watching it and it wasn't a boring waste of time like Suicide Squad. Anyway, check this one out if you want. If you like gore, you might get some enjoyment out of it. I don't know. And I'm giving this one a 3 out of 10. It's closer to a 4 than a 2, but I'm keeping it a 3 for now. I don't think I'm ever going to see it again, but whatever. Thank you.